Hi, I'm Osama Khan. Welcome back to Thing Guide, the show where we learn the way things work. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at American football in all its complex glory. American football, like many other sports, has teams consisting of 11 players participating at any point. However, this is where things get a little bit crazy is that the team is split into three subunits the offensive, the defensive, and the special teams. These are a whole set of 11 players that are brought on at specific points during the game. The offense, this is a team that is brought on when the team has possession of the ball. Their role is to make as much distance towards the opponent's end of the pitch so that points can be scored. They do this by something called a play, which is a tactical plan performed by all players consisting of their positions and their movements. This is to make up yardage, which is a distance travelled. The team consists of players which throw the ball, which can catch the ball, which can run with the ball, and players who protect the above by tackling and blocking the opposition, keeping them at bay. The defensive unit is brought on when the opposing team have the ball, and their role can be summed up as by stopping the offence from progressing. They do this by tackling people with the ball, by intercepting passes, or by forcing the team out of the pitch. Special teams. This unit is brought on when any kicks are involved. Surprisingly, these are the only players that connect their foot to the ball, and you can consider these guys as the only true football players. Let's look at the summary of play. Like I said earlier, the offensive team needs to try to move the ball across the pitch. They are given four opportunities or downs to travel with the ball a minimum of 10 yards in total. If successful, then these downs are reset and they have to travel another further 10 yards. This keeps on happening until either the team scores or they fail to make the required yardage. Let's look at where it all happens. The structure of the pitch is 100 yards long with 10 yard end zones on each side and it's 53 and a third yards wide. There's long lines across the pitch every 5 yards along with smaller lines breaking into 1 yard intervals. Now let's look at the way that you can score points in American football. Touchdown. This is the main way to score and also the most significant with it having the highest number of points to offer at 6 points. The way it's achieved is any part of the ball entering into the end zone while it's being carried by an offensive player. This means that it can either be carried into it, it can be caught whilst in it or even picked up by the player whilst in the end zone. Despite the name there is no need to touch the ball onto the ground, however, it is the focal point of many celebrations. Conversions or extra points. Immediately after scoring a touchdown, the offensive team has a choice of going for either one or two points. In either situation, the ball is placed on the two yard line. When going for one point, the ball needs to be kicked through the goal posts. This is also called a point after touchdown. As for the two points, unimaginatively named a two point conversion, the ball needs to enter into the end zone in a similar fashion as a touchdown, a field goal. When the chances of scoring a touchdown are looking slim to none, the team might attempt a field goal. This is where the ball is kicked in between the uprights. This can be attempted from anywhere on the pitch, however, usually occurs as close as possible towards the opponent's end zone and on the last down. This is for three points. Safeties. This is the only way that the defensive unit can score any points, and it occurs when a player from the offensive team who is carrying the ball is tackled in their own end zone. The defensive unit are awarded two points. Fouls or penalties in American football occur for a variety of different reasons, such as moving over the line of scrimmage before a player started, or tackling and holding a player who is not in possession of the ball. They are signalled by officials throwing flags onto the pitch and result in the line of scrimmage moving towards or away from the end zone depending on who committed the foul. Let's look at timings in American football. There's four 15 minute quarters with 12 minute half time. There's also three timeouts per team in each half and there are many many situations for stoppages to occur. After all, where would they fit in all those advertisements? Overall, 
the length of an American football match is a complete mystery. Your guess is as good as mine. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below for what you want to come next.